So hi guys, welcome to the channel. I left home a year ago this week and I thought it was time I put a couple of videos together just detailing my year, the highs, the lows, the goods, the bads. I've had a fantastic time. This one is about setting out from Belfast, driving right across Europe in the winter and ending up in Athens as the weather started to turn. So get a coffee, even a beer, sit back, feed up and I hope you enjoy. Sold my house, sold my car, closed my business, got all my affairs in order, bought a motorhome, and me with my two dogs were away, heading for Europe and beyond. So the initial plan was from home, head to Donegal, spend a few days in Donegal, getting used to the motorhome getting used to being away from a water supply and electric supply for a few days and then head away on down to Ross Lure. I did that, then there was a problem. I'll not go into it, but the ferry didn't happen for another, I, I can't remember now, I think it was three or four days, I can't remember. I wanted to get this initial stretch to France done quickly in one go. Didn't want to drive through England, but it was either 16 or 18 hours on the ferry, long, long, long time. France, here we go. All this time planning, and I'm in France, in my mother home, heading south. Can't believe it. Right, so night one was try to get through Paris, which I did, and find somewhere to park, which I did, and have a good sleep, because I never slept at all the night before. Molly and Buster, I wonder what they're thinking about this. Now the first part of this journey was to get me to Turkey, and I had allowed four days going to Turkey to get dental work done. But I was over optimistic about how quickly I was going to get there because I ended up, I didn't really enjoy driving any more than four or five hours. And so I was heading down into towns and looking for places to park. Although most of the time on this start across Europe, I did just stop in truck stops. But being in France, in the van, with the two dogs, heading across Europe, just felt amazing. I just felt so good. Just before I got to the Swiss border, I decided to, to stop for the evening. And so this was my second stop in France. France is a big country, I hadn't appreciated how long it was going to take to drive through it. You think I would have worked that out? So the target this day was just to drive straight through Switzerland. This route, it cuts right through Switzerland, but it's all industrial, the whole way. Beautiful mountains, but you're not getting to see Switzerland at all. So at some point, I'll be back to go and look at Switzerland properly. I ended up staying in Northern Italy for a couple of days. It was wonderful, so Italian. Unfortunately no English speakers, but no tourists either. Lovely vibe, beautiful villages, beautiful countryside, and I just didn't want to rush through. I basically just drove straight through Slovakia and Croatia. Sunny and flat, bad roads, and I did a couple of van repairs, but I didn't go into any towns or anything. I had a hard time at the Serbian customs, I was there for a few hours, um, which was the second time that had happened. Italy was just as bad and I could find 
in both very unpleasant experience. But Serbia was the first place where I decided to stay in a campsite. I was driving along and I seen these fantastic big signs, all sorts of billboards about the campsite. So I decided to go in and this was it. It was, <laughs> there was nothing in it. There wasn't even electricity that worked. And I had to get my water from inside a hotel that there was nobody in but me and the girl who worked there. Yet it felt nice to be off the road. <laughs> Right, this is where the trip took a turn. So I drove across to a dog kennel to leave the dogs while I got my dental work done, which I did. Drive from there to the Turkish border, which I did. Then drive from there to my dental appointment in Istanbul, which I did not. Turned away by the Turkish customs for a ridiculous reason. Oh no! Missed my appointment and thought the hell with it, I'm going to Greece. On my first month in the van, nothing, nothing goes as planned. So I thought, I'll not use that to just be tempting fate. The truth is, I'm going to drive down to Greece. I realise I still need to get my teeth done. So when I got here, got a lot of quotes. Now, heading back to Sofia in Bulgaria. Heading back into the cold too. Oh, I remember this was a shock to the system when I got back into this really, really cold weather. I mean, it was cold enough in Greece, but I stayed here for a week, got my dental work done. Um, that was only my first treatment of two. Delighted with it. And then set off again for Greece. And I remember driving down this road thinking, that's it, no more pressure. Take my time, I'll do whatever I want. Decided to treat myself, booked an Airbnb for the night. Really, really nice place. I was so used to sleeping in the van, but I couldn't sleep in the Airbnb and left early. But headed back to the coast where I'd been for the previous week and decided I would start off from there, going right down the coast of Greece. First stop, little second stop, SIM cards, which played a massive part of my life for the first six months. Then headed on down to the coast, and at last, couldn't believe it, first time, got to a beach. The dogs got a swim. I stayed on the beach that night, and the next morning, set off for my first adventure. I do love a medieval castle. I suspect this will not be the only one I visit. Then right away, Adventure 2, beautiful mountain top village. I've just, <laughs> I've just driven up the steepest, bendiest road. Long time since I sat outside of our Donegal, about six weeks ago. Perfect. What a wonderful place to live. Isn't this just wonderful? I took a fairly big date here to go to my first proper, proper campsite. The whole way across, it was all fine places to park up and the odd small motorhome site, which were fine. But this is the first time now I found when I feel like I'm on holidays. So I might stay here a couple of days now and, and chill out. I've been doing a lot of chilling out recently, as well as a lot of driving. I've realised coming down there, I'm still in driving mode. I have to start getting that out of my system, remembering that we're in no rush anymore. He's swimming! <laughs> oh, I give up. He took a bite of the salt water, did I took You missed it. You missed it. Come on, it's all right. Get, no, don't let go. <laughs> There was no one else there, but a great place. I'm sure it does amazing business in the good weather. I remember feeling so relaxed, so chilled out after 100 mile an hour, not literally, one place to another to another. And this just felt off fantastic. We did stay for a couple of days, just relaxed, lovely woman that ran the place. 
showed me all around. But then, time to go came again, upward and onward. I always seem to be climbing. I was just driving along the road and seen a sign for hot springs. It's the hot springs of Colonus. Enjoy that? Go on, go on. That's proper swimming now, she's not just trying to swim back. Yep, yeah, that's lovely. Yep, yep. <laughs> then about halfway through your day's driving, the thought, where am I gonna to stop tonight? And my my attitude was drive to somewhere you see that you like and pull in all these wee towns along the coast were beautiful and then up over the, these mountains and oh my god it was beautiful. Got back down to the coast and I found the nice space you can never imagine to stay this night. The man on the right owns this place, there's a car park out the back and he let me stay there for the night and I sat and had a beer with him, as you do. And then the next day, it was a fairly big drive to Athens, I didn't know I was going to do it in one go, but I did in the end, but a nice chilled, relaxed drive. So folks, I'm going to leave it off there. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be continuing on from Athens through a big chunk of Greece, then right up the coast of Italy and into France when I do part two of these videos at some point. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe. Hit the wee bell icon. Leave a comment. Everything that you do helps the channel. But until next time, Bye for now.